All right, interesting development on that. How about uh, in terms of the week that was in cannabis? Any analysts coming out, taking a look at names, perhaps giving us some recommendations? Yeah, I mean, I really do uh, try to wrap up, uh, you know, some of the news highlights in, in uh, the cannabis space. There's a lot of M&A activity that we've been reporting on, and you'll see in the newsletter. But uh, Desjardins Capital Markets did an interesting initiation of coverage on a, on a Canadian cannabis retailer called High Tide. They have about 93 stores across Canada. They're initiating coverage with a buy average rating and a $15 price target. And I really wanted to focus on these. Here you can see exactly... Um, uh, you can see exactly uh, Desjardins saying that retail um, is actually uh, uh, something to highlight for investors given that it costs less capital than uh, cannabis producers as well as results in fewer write downs and inventory charges. And for a lay of the land, here's a chart for our viewers to see exactly where high tide is positioned in terms of the cannabis retail landscape in Ontario. They're number two behind Sundial, which owns the Spirit Leaf brand. There's Fire and Flower, Canopy Growth, Nova, and Plant Life as well. So, uh, you know, uh, uh, they're one of the leading retailers. They're making a big push into the U.S., uh, a lot of focus on e-commerce as well. But it's something that I think Desjardins highlighted as well as just how the Canadian cannabis retail space is evolving. And it looks like in, in terms of the profitable cannabis companies, retailers are emerging as one of those few bright spots within the industry relative to the producers and cultivators that we've been really reporting on and, and those ongoing losses that they're uh, uh, incurring over the past several quarters, Greg.